Hello and welcome to another episode from Specs Battle. Today we are going to do an open box for the Oculus Quest 2 from Facebook. Yay! Two days ago, I was playing with my PSVR and I broke it. <laughs> it's one of the saddest days of my life. And I got the Quest 2 as a replacement to actually experience the true wireless VR. Yeah! The package here is so simple and beautiful. I almost did not want to open it, but I have to get my knife here. Chuck it open on the side. I've been waiting for this for a couple days and uh, I can't wait to try it because it has a lot of good games in it and it's wireless. I don't have to worry about tripping over the wire like I have to in the PSVR. Alright, so the plastic wrap is off. Let me just slide this box out maybe. Yeah, okay. Alright. I look at their library for the Oculus Quest 2. They have a couple of uh, free free games you can play. Like a VR chat and uh, uh, some roller coaster experience. So those are, those are all free games you can get from online in the Quest store. So, wow, here it is. This, the, this is the time to open the box. Whoa, la, 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 Whoa, look at what's inside the box. The presentation is off the hook. Look at that. All right, let's see what we have here. So we have uh, two controllers. All right. And then you have the left one. And the VR headset itself. Okay, make sure you have all the parts in your hand. Then have like a, I believe this one is a uh, glass spacer. So I guess you, you put this inside if you wear glasses. Okay. And then what is this right here? This box should contain I don't know, let's find out. <laughs> See, okay. Yes, this is the, oh, the instruction menu. Safety and warranty guide. Okay, reference menu. And then inside the box, you have a charging cable. It's a USB C cable. And you have a USB-C charger. So you can just plug the USB-C right here. And boom, you can charge your headset. Cool. I don't know if you can see the box. It has some like initial instructions. You can pull the, a little tab out from the controller. And then you turn the VR headset on. Uh, press and hold the button for two seconds. And then just strap in. That was easy. Okay, let's follow the steps. So I'm gonna follow the exact instruction that was put up in the box. So there is a little strip right here. I'm gonna take it off from the controller. Bah. Bah. Okay, that's one. Second one. Just got a little use of force. <laughs> I have some wrist pain, so excuse me for my weak wrist right here, okay. All right, so this is the headset, and there's like a little instruction inside. Let's see where it's. We uh, move lens left or right to find the clear, clearest view. Okay, but I have to kind of turn it on first, right? So, let's see. So they have like a little paper wrap around the headset. Just take it off. Whoa. All right, let's take it off like that. And here's your headset. 
it feels kind of small. It does. Okay. So on the on the left side of the headset is a charging cable for the USB-C, and then I think this is the headphone jack. All right. And there are cameras all around the the VR machine, so you can see that there are like little cameras on the top, cameras on the bottom, two camera bottom, and two cameras on the top. See, these are cameras. They are not <laughs> screws, so don't be putting like driver on it. So okay, so this is the headset. I am gonna remove this uh, instructions here. Um, and I believe this is the power button on the right side. You can see. It. Okay. And there is a plus and minus. I'm not sure what it is yet. Maybe it's the volume. Could be. All right. And the oh. Okay. And then also on the the eyeglasses right there. Let's also peel and peel it off. It says no liquid cleaners. No liquid cleaners. Okay, cool. All right. Ah. <laughs> Take it off. And then I guess I just. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do with five glasses this time and just see how it feels like. <laughs> okay. Ooh, it's kind of tight here. So I'm gonna do this. Put it on myself. And then I'm gonna press the power button and hold it for two seconds. One, two, one. Whoa! Okay. Oh my god. So this is much, much, much better than the PSVR graphic wise. I know that the, the graphic is a big improvement from the last quest. And it's also much better than the PSVR in terms of graphics. So this is awesome. So the instruction told me to grab my remote. Where my remote at? Oh, here you go. Okay, my remote. Oh, I believe this is the right because I had a thumb right here. Okay, so whoa! <laughs> Actually, I can see my remote in my VR. I think the camera is detecting it. So right now. Okay, so I can use this as joystick right here. Can you see my camera? My joystick's right here. And then I will just point that thing to the arrow. And just press this trigger button. Oh, here you go. So the <laughs> Sorry, I'm, this is my first time having this control. I got used to my PSVR. So there's a trigger button right here on the control. See the trigger button on the index finger, and then you have a middle finger for the, I don't know sec second trigger control, and your thumb just like can control these two buttons on top, and the joystick. Okay, so I'm instructed to press the trigger button. Oh, and choose my language as English US. Interesting, and then use the joystick to scroll up and down, and you can feel the the controller is vibrating as I scroll up and down. Okay, let's sit back a little bit so you can see more of this. So now it's telling to check clarity. Adjust the headset on your face until you can see the screen clearly. So right now I can see the screen clearly, but then I, I mean, I, I still wear glasses, right? So, so check clarity, okay. Wow, this is so clear. Holy mo- I mean, you still get the, the little screen door effect, but my, I mean, it's, it's so much better than the PSVR. Cause PSVR, you can like definitely see it and you get really dizzy. And then adjust the lens spacing if needed. Okay. Um, I can maybe I can just adjust a little bit. So I can adjust the lens. 
in and out if it's blurry okay so let me see just just it oh yeah can we move maybe i'll just to the furthest and see how i feel let's see so this is the furthest setting so um i do wear glasses i'm a glass boy unfortunately um so this is the glass uh glasses spacer so the instruction on the um glasses spacer is to first one you have to pull this thing out first from the headset and then you put the spacer in between the headset and the little face wrap so let's try that so it's saying that this part of the headset you can pull it out let's try it <laughs> okay you can, you can actually loosen like that okay cool and then, oh voila okay and then we where does it go <laughs> and oh here you go and then you gotta put the the glasses spacer like that this is, this is the nose part let's put it right there okay now that should fit pretty snugly in there okay make sure the nose part fits here and then you put this back in per instruction if this breaks Facebook's fire Cool, I'm gonna try with my glasses on. Oh, I think is it is it done updating them? Oh god. So <laughs> the strap come in pretty uh tight, so with without my glasses it was tight. So with glass I'm gonna loosen it up a little bit. And to loosen the strap up a little bit, you just I have to I guess you can the top velcro, you can just un unvelcro it and then Pull it back a little bit and then back over again. So simple. All right, so I found a trick to loosen this this guy. So you see this like two plastic right here. So you just hold a strap like this and just press out with the 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 fingers and then push in with the thumb with this, and you can loosen it like that. All right, that's really loose right now. And to tighten it, you just pull this guy out outwards. Okay. Yeah. Now so you tighten it really tight. To loosen again, you just do the same thing, right? Push this. The, the thing is to push the two plastic stuff inside. Inward. Sorry. Yeah, that should do it. Okay. Okay. So to connect to the Oculus with your phone, you just need to go to App Store and iOS or Google Play in. Um, in your uh, Android phone. So in here, you just go search for Oculus. Okay, that's the app you want to get. Let's get it with your thingy thingy. Okay, now I should download. All right, after you didn't open it, and then. Uh, Oculus would like to use Bluetooth, so let's click OK, and then you continue with Facebook, okay, whatever your Facebook account is. Oh yeah, by the way, Oculus Quest is designed and made by Facebook, so you have to have a Facebook account to play. If you're against Facebook, probably not the device to go with. Okay, after you connect with your Facebook, this screen will show up. Now it's time to set up your VR profile. Add a photo and username to your VR profile so you can connect with friends and chat with other people on Oculus. Interesting, very social. And then I'll enter username. And the app will guide you to like adding your friends from Facebook. So whoever has Oculus um, and you are friends on Facebook, they will show up on the list. But that's the previous page. Right now I'm just choosing your interests. And then you have your four digit pin. So I don't remember setting a pin for my Oculus. And I don't know what my pin is. 
uh, without the pin, you cannot buy any games. Even you put the credit card in your Oculus account. Um, but you can reset your pin by using your email that is attached to your Facebook. But unfortunately, my email was attached to my school email when I signed up for the Facebook when I was in college, which I don't use anymore. And in order to reset your email, you need your pin. <laughs> so what? Okay, so kudos to the, the Oculus uh, support team. I emailed them uh, through the support channel uh, and then within an hour, I got an answer from them to re to um, actually talk to a person uh, online to reset my email, which eventually reset my pin on the Oculus. It was 2 a.m. in the morning. So kudos to the Oculus team. So I just finished uh, connecting with my Facebook account to the uh, Oculus Quest 2 VR headset. And now I'm sitting in the I guess the, the Quest lobby that you can see a whole bunch of like um, VR videos or games, the top chart collections, new releases or in categories, whatnot. And I think you click any of those and you can just um, buy some of them with the credit card. You can have you can have <laughs> you can do a credit card or PayPal and once you have set that up you just buy any game you want all right and there's a whole bunch of free stuff right now I'm, I'm I am uh, getting the mission ISS uh, free VR experience so yeah you see how it goes and after you uh, click get app it will stop the downloading Depends on your internet speed, you just get it in like maybe a minute. I mean, it depends on how big the, the app is uh, too. So, in the lobby, you can use the, the joystick to go up and down, scroll up and down, and then just uh, press the trigger to select, and uh, B, the B button to go back. And there is volume, I was right, so on the volume, uh, you can choose the volume, so the, the one near your nose is the volume down and then the one that's further from your nose is the volume up pretty intuitive okay and um, I found for me the headset feels kind of small for my face <laughs> maybe I just have a big face um, so that, that's that's the general feeling I have uh, comparing to the, the PSVR and the back strap, I, I know from other people already said it already from YouTube that um, it's not the most comfortable um, wrap behind your 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 your, uh, your head because um, it's just a strap. But you can buy accessories that you know fully cover your um, your back or your head better than just the strap itself. Okay, so. I just finished the uh, download for Mission ISS. It's totally free, and I'm just gonna try it. Okay, so I, I'm gonna start the Mission ISS app. I'm probably pressing the start here. Let's see. It does feel kind of small around my my cheekbone. I have a big cheekbone. Yeah, so right now I'm not wearing glasses right now, and then I can see the little gap between <laughs> my nose and um, the nose card right here. So I'm up. I'm probably going to um, dismount that the glasses spacer from my headset, All right, because I can see the gap. I can see the real world when I look up like this, which is no no bueno for the immersive experience, right? So. With the glasses, it's way too small for my for my face. So that's my, my complaint about the Oculus. With the PSVR, it's much, much more comfortable to be putting you put in your head. Um, and you can like adjust the, the, the headset forward and back. Okay, so now I'm in the in the experience. My two controller. Come and 
hands. Okay, let's see. I'll do. Uh, I don't know training. Learn how to get around. And okay, so I'm. I have some experience with the Oculus Quest Two right now for by an hour. <laughs> so um, here's what I, I my my verdicts on it. The graphic, thumbs up. This is much better than PS PSVR. It has the, the those are the pros, right? I'm talking about pros right now. And it has internal sound. That means that you can hear yourself, and just you can hear it. Once you take the the, the Oculus off, you cannot hear it. Um, and then the, the outside world cannot hear you. So that that's pretty cool. Um, it's wireless. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the main reason I bought it because I want to do some workout from boxing uh, some some table tennis to go along to lose weight because you know I'm kind of blown up because the quarantine um, yeah and then the the controller has joysticks so you can actually move with the controller so that is pretty cool uh, now the design is awesome but I, I found a couple problems that with the Oculus Quest 2 right now. So just compar comparing to PS PS VR because that's the only other uh, VR headset that I have. First of all, controllers. I found this controller to be very very short. Look at that, the hand the handlebar. I don't have a super big hand, but look at that. I can like I can barely. It's barely like have any room in my hand. If I'm doing a, doing a boxing game like this, I'm not even holding a fist. No. On the other hand, on the PSVR, once you're in the game, you can just look at how long, how much longer this that I have on the handle compared to the, um, to the, to the Quest. This is a PSVR, this is a Quest. So it's much, much longer. So when you're in a boxing game, you just hold onto this, like you just grab it and punch, punch, punch. I think uh, there is an I think there's an extension to the to the to the to the grip. You can buy it from Amazon. Um, I think I'll just also include a link for that as well because I'm gonna buy it right now. Because <laughs> um, I really like the boxing game as as well for if you're playing like um, the Beat Saber game. I mean, that's, who doesn't play it, right? You will, you will, you have much more fun holding this and feel like you are holding a real sword than this tiny thing here. <laughs> okay? So that is the controller. That's the pros and cons. Mm, not feeling the controller too much. Okay? Back to the headset. So, for me, this face guard is super, super tight on me. I have a big face, I'm not gonna lie, okay, but come on, this face guard is really tight, so maybe I can look for a bigger one on, on online and see, I have um, a thing for it. The nose guard right here, um, it's kind of big for me, because maybe it's because I have the, the glasses guard inside already, but even without the glasses guard inside, it's still, I can still look gap in my nose, well, I'm Asian, pretty, that explains my flat nose. Um, when I noticed that you can adjust the, the, um, the eye sights, there's a couple of levels you can just, and you can see the level, it's only three levels. One, two, and three, you can see it. So uh, you can see the, so the center here, they display what number level it is. Um, I can see that, so if I squeeze to the, all the way out, this is level three. And then to the middle is level two. You hear one click. And then one more time, this is two. You can see it. And then one is the closest. Okay. And uh, back to the face guard. If you want to play a workout game, this is foam. That means your sweat is going to get into here. Very nasty. Nasty, nasty um, foam. It's gonna be all wet. I'm a big sweater, so it's gonna get wet. So I'm gonna buy a, a silicone face guard on this side 
maybe the, the silicone will feel much better on my face and well I'm gonna sweat so I'm gonna have to get it anyways yeah and the thing the last thing is the strap the strap is completely not my favorite compared to the, the PSVR head guard with the halo headset this is much more comfortable than this so I guess there's some accessories that you can also add to this as well so you don't have to wear this strap so oh, even though the, <laughs> the oculus quest 2 is not that expensive but with all the accessories yeah it, it's gonna add up but so this is my review on the quest 2 it's, it's great don't get me wrong it's great it has pros and cons um i think the the with the the right accessories you'll make this a very great vr headset experience okay i will also include a link to get this from amazon thank you very much for watching if you find this useful for your purchase any vr headset please give me a, a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you want or you can check out my uh, amazon link to support the channel thank you very much i'll see you guys next time